back with our friend Susie Trotta, who is a real estate expert in town. And we always talk home numbers. That's where we're going to begin. And keep in mind, these are statistics for January, Susie. Mm -hmm, right. Explain what we're seeing year to year between last January and this January. Okay, so we recapped last month. So all of 2018 was a seller's market, very strong seller's market. So what we're seeing in January this year, or what we're just, we've just seen in January this year, we're seeing active listings, historic low again. So even lower than in 2018, if you look at the, the turquoise dot there. So um, all the numbers are still tipping toward a seller's market. Anytime you have low active listings, that means that you're gonna have low months of supply, low inventory overall, which is less homes for buyers to choose from, which is gonna create higher sales prices, which we also saw last month and higher sales. And as we go to closed units, that what that's what reinforces that. Uh, moving to closed right. units, again, we're focused on this line in particular and show us where we should be looking. Right, so we should be looking right here at the dot. So if you see, we're just a little bit below 2018, but we're, we're right there at 2018, actually 2009 levels. So we're still doing really good for January sales, especially if you look at some of our not so great years like 2011 when we were way down at 500 we were less than half that many sales in a january and again to bottom line these numbers it is still a seller's market yes it, right now in january i think it's too soon to call the year for sure i don't think we're, we're going to have a really good feel till march or so but it's a start strong start for the year for people who are looking for a real estate agent mm -hmm. what are your top three suggestions to focus on okay so and this is a great time to start looking for your real estate agent because we're entering spring selling season so what i like to tell people is ask your friends and family get referrals and interview people talk to people and see who you feel comfortable with but there are three questions i would ask my real estate agent so what's your marketing plan how do you plan on marketing my home every home is going to have a unique marketing plan What's your communication plan? A lot of people don't think of that necessarily. You have the best agent with the most experience, the best marketing plan, but then you don't hear from them or you don't hear from them on a timetable that you are comfortable with as a client. And that's really important to establish up front. And then, you know, I would ask the agent, what sets you apart from other agents? Why should I use you and not this agent over here, agent B or C? Um, and, you know, don't discount a newer agent. Newer, newer agents, if they are trained well and mentored well, will work really hard for your money. <laughs> Susie Trotta, we yeah. appreciate the perspective. Thanks for the tips as always. Yeah.